Hi Aries, and this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Aries sign. I will pull some cards so that we can determine the messages and insights and any information that could be helpful for you. The Altar Priestess, Preparation, Prayer, and Sacred Ritual. So it's an it's it's a very nice card because this makes me think of a dear friend who has several altars and changes them with the seasons and with certain holidays or such and uh, does a crystal grid because it's a it's a place for her to feel relaxed to feel centered to feel. Um, appreciative of, of life and abundance around. So when I think of the altar priestess, I think that it's important to, to do the things that help you become successful or to bring you happiness and to prepare. It might be to simply to think about what, what vegetable, vegetables you may plant in your garden. What are you going to harvest this year? Who are you going to pray to? Who are you going to give thanks to? It could be an altar of family photos or uh, family knickknacks that have sentimental value. And sacred ritual. Listen, we all have sacred rituals in in observing our holidays with uh, Passover and Easter coming up and Uh, whatever other holidays included. So, you know, we have these traditions that help us uh, bring people together and that bring us comfort and make us, I believe it gets down to making us feel good. And it's bringing in a safe spot, the altar priestess. So it's um, prayer, reflection, uh, solitude, quiet thinking, you know, quiet time for yourself. It's carving out that special place for you. And it makes me think of the altar priestess as the high priestess, which is, again, it's the time for you to reflect on your life and to do deep dives, to think below the surface where you really are. It's like taking your, your temperature, but it's your uh, you know, it's the whole body temperature. It's everything that is going on. And so here with this glowing, her hands are glowing and she's making her magic. It's up to each of us to make our own magic and to uh, pray to who we believe in and to create the altars or the little special places that have meaning for us. And I'll just throw this out there because this is, it's an, uh, I think it's somewhat interesting, but you know, as a young, young girl, you know, I created, I didn't even know I was creating an altar, but it was an altar to the Beatles with all of the pictures and the little things, little games or things or posters or, or dolls that you, that I would buy. And it was something that had significance in my life, which was, I was inspired to learn how to play music and to play guitar. That's because I didn't even know it, but I had built this sense of an altar to this uh, music that moved me. And so build your altar. Think of the, the special place that you can create for your, for your life this week. So, you know, it also could be going to church and uh, really going to the altar is the literal meaning, but you know, however it works for each, each of you, make it work for yourself. So in terms of our body, let's get a message for our body. Use your natural healing abilities clearly guiding, encouraging, and supporting the healing work. So I would say that people probably know themselves best in terms of foods that work for them, foods that don't work, 
uh, the time needed to sleep. Doesn't mean we're able to to do it perfectly all the time, but you know we have a sense of what works for us. So use your natural healing abilities. We see, looks like a small puppy. Spending time with animals, spending time with your children, spending time with friends helps to heal the soul, helps to bring joy into your life, interaction. Uh, and, you know, whatever it is for you, whether it is um, apple cider vinegar for the win, or if it's, um, you know, organic foods, if it's a certain strategy that you use when you're beginning to get a head cold, then honor those practices. And um, what could I say? I would say, you know, I, <laughs> this is the pragmatic person in me, which is honor those practices. But I can tell you that if I, you know, if I had a fever and it wasn't getting better, then I would not only use my natural healing abilities, but I might make a call to urgent care or whomever to get some assistance. So healing, natural healing abilities, going to a spring, spring water, mud baths, things that can um, foster good health. I really think though at the heart of this message of natural healing abilities is to surround yourself with the people and the things that you love and to do your best to create your healthy lifestyle of how you choose to eat, how you choose to sleep, whether you drink or not, you know, what other things are brought into your, your own life. It's up to you and to trust yourself. And so let's choose an Oracle card for spirit or emotional self. Stay connected. Stay connected to spirit, the divine source. Uh, it says tendency to pull away from that connection. We are uh, as we are as we journey through life in the physical world. So this is a message of staying connected to uh, perhaps your memories of of lost loved ones, of thinking of different and. Um, uh, more powerful messages coming through, through uh, reflection, divine intelligence, divine timing, through prayer, again, going to the altar with your rituals of staying connected. I would take it a step further, and again, it goes to not only staying connected to those who came before, and lessons that they went through that you can take as your own and learn but it is stay connected with those that are here too and the people that give you strength the people that inspire you the people that love you for who you are unconditionally and between the current physical space and the spiritual realm then you've got everything covered and you have a you know, you have a healing and a loving infrastructure to work from. And whoever it is that you're connected to, it doesn't have to be your family. Maybe you're not close to your family. Maybe it's some other people that you have and that you trust and that you rely on. So altar priestess of digging in deep, prayer, reflection, honoring, thinking of the divine intelligence out there, how the universe works, you trusting yourself with your own healing abilities, and again, often connected to things that you love or bring you peacefulness or joy, and then stay connected to spirit, but also stay connected to those that are important to you, uh, places, memories, people. And as a final oracle card for just something to practice in addition for the week. Let's see what we have here. Wedding. 
Marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. So interesting. And wedding may uh, resonate with some. Perhaps it doesn't resonate with others. And, and uh, certainly a, a lovely day of committing and sharing a journey with someone. I'm going to choose another card. Child. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wedding and child. You care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. So children are lovely. Children are wonderful. They are inspiring. They are funny. They are real. And I'm fortunate that I work with children, eight and nine year olds, and um, I think there's a lot to be learned from a child's perspective and to feel the wonder of being a kid and to find the joy of simple joys of whether it's a new video game, whether it's a new song, whether it's a silly little eraser. It's fabulous to watch pleasure and joy from a child's perspective. And often we forget it as adults. So go out there, feed your inner child, and have fun for the week. I wish you a very peaceful, loving, and balanced week. I hope that you are well. I hope that your family is well. Happy holidays to, uh, to all. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this reading. I truly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We have a wonderful community. I would love for you to be a part of that. Thank you again and take care. Bye-bye.